Namaste. Today is the World Mental Health Day. We normally take care of our bodies, do exercise, but we rarely take care of our mind, our brain. You know, our body is run by our brain, our mind, and body cannot move an inch. In a life, your, your mind is not commanding, is not operating your body. So when we take care of our body, why can't we take care of our minds? For education, for anything, for any plan, for any work, for any strategy, for any function, you know, this mind is a very important thing. So why do we ignore our mind when the brain, which is a mass, the mind which is there in the brain and that brain consisting, uh, comprising of neurons, cells, neurons, what you call, they require oxygenated blood, you know, oxygenated blood, but we don't take sufficient oxygen. Then what happens? Those cells, those neurons become dull. They won't be active and your brain will not be sharply functioning. That's one of the reasons why say I'm feeling bored, I'm feeling dull. So what is required is how you keep your mind active is definitely through pranayama, pranayama and yoga. You walk and run, your mind gets proper oxygenated blood. You do excess, you pranayama. These things are very important for any child, for any anybody. Point number one. Point number two, your mind actually determines what to learn, how to learn. And, and whether that learning will be intact with you, that becomes part of you. You know, mind gives you a lot of ideas, a lot of th thinking, you know, a lot of things, a lot of thoughts. And if your mind gives a thought, and if you feel, if you feel that if the, the thought is really good, put it into action, it gives you some sort of a result, then you go on doing it again and again, it forms into a habit. And that habit, if you go on repeating and repeating, it forms into a sort of behavior or belief. And that will become part of your culture. So to have a good culture, to have a good belief system, you should start to develop thinking properly qualitatively, positively, not negatively. Everything you have to see, uh, see good inside it. You have to see good in yourself. First, in your mother, in your father, in your teacher, in your friends, in the world, in the nature. See good. And your mind gets only good things. But if you want to see always bad in people and in you, your mind always tells you only about those things and you do those things those activities again you do, results are like that, your habits are like that, finally your belief system and culture will not really support your help in your life. So what you choose in your mind will happen to you. So always remember when a bad idea is coming in your mind, you have to keep it away. How do you keep it away? Just observe the bad idea, observe it again and again and again till the idea disappears. Don't just push it, just observe. And your mind is there to guide you properly, tell you properly, instruct you properly, give you proper ideas on which you will work. It's important that you take that idea, make it your own and work qualitatively on that and thereby getting all the results that you want and then that will form into habit, then into belief, then into finally, you know, all of the behavior. So it's important that, you know, what you suppose as a child or as an adult, if you feel that every time there's a fear that is coming into your mind, you know, fear comes, anger comes, frustration, depression, stress, all those things are coming often to you. It's important that you need to overcome that. Please do not allow the fear to build up. Do not allow the stress to build up. You should not be compressed. Always you should feel free mentally feel free no fears whatsoever and the, uh, the more the fear you have and the lesser the development of yourself be it in your employment be it in your studies be it in a job career whatever it is 
so a fearless mind is important what you what is more important is that you love something and then you do it properly passionately you get the results so how you actually dress your mind take care of your mind so one is through oxygen pranayama breathing and other things number 2 develop org- uh, organic thinking uh, when the thinking is good allow that to be developed thinking is bad stop it don't think bad of yourself bad of others stop it immediately if others are bad let them be bad but don't think that they are bad because you can't change them if your mind in your mind you always thinks about think about bad things bad people bad developments bad results so you go into that cycle of bad 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 instead all of us we can go into good positive developmentally oriented and you know Uh, the developments that happen to you you take it in a positive way learn something out of that even a failure then your mind will have such recordings which will send you in the form of information in the form of an idea that look gentlemen do it this way this is the idea so that idea generation the mind depends on what you store in your mind what you do uh, in your daily life will become part of your storage in your mind it's very important thing so every child every adult maybe parent teacher or anyone it's important that that you need to understand this phenomena and this brain and mind the very very powerful the more you draw the more it will give the less you draw and the less it will give and if you don't want to draw it is not the fault of your mind it's not the fault of your mind so how to draw and how to draw more and more and more and most importantly do not fill your minds with all the unnecessary unwanted things leave some space because you have to fill that space with lot of good things lot of knowledge lot of learning lot of new things you can't fill your mind with all the things and the, and and if you go on thinking more about others when do you think of yourself your mind should be able to think of yourself then others then the relationships so it's important for all of us to study our minds and when there is a stress the stress factor immediately have to uh, immediately have to really burst uh, you know the stress has to be busted it's in, you cannot have stress now tomorrow day after tomorrow one over the other one layer over the other no that leads to disaster so the, suppose there is a stress now overcome that forget about it tomorrow a stress comes overcome that to, uh, and uh, uh, and it's gone but if you pile up one over the other one over the other one over the other it may lead to disaster yeah, it's very important thing if your mind always reminds you of something bad immediately you consult someone some elders that i am getting these ideas so i am little scared then you will get all the best possible support and if your mind is really giving you good ideas good direction good planning good strategies always trust that mind and that mind will really guide you to the to the to the glorious uh, life of yours is very important so uh, uh, the mind will work very very powerfully age is not the matter age doesn't matter mind and uh, and also especially uh, people old people beyond 60s and all that they'll be dementia you start forgetting but if you keep your left brain and right brain active both sides of the brain active then there is the chance of you know uh, the dementia will be very 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 less so dear all friends parents uh, teachers and students it's very important that mind has to be taken care of mind should generate positive good healthy ideas you should always think that you are very healthy that you are growing prosperously that you actually are doing everything good for you and good for others your mind is with you in all your work like your body is with you the mind should also be with you so train your brain and that brain will help you in your life do not ignore all the solutions are in your mind 
every solution if you are not healthy your mind can cure some uh, even without going to doctor certain things are cured there are so many accounts examples in the world so it all depends on the power of your mind use that power believe in that mind and that power will definitely make your body stronger make your mind still stronger and then you can lead a wonderful life learning happily learning qualitatively working happily and qualitatively and establishing a wonderful future for all of you thank you so much